The shiny stock market is roaring back to life, defying all odds. After months of uncertainty and decline, a powerful surge has taken investors by storm. The tech giants are leading the charge. Alibaba, Tencent, JD and Baidu are all experiencing meteoric rises. But what's driving this incredible turnaround? Is it just temporary blip? Or is China's stock market poised for a major comeback? The Chinese government has played a pivotal role in this resurgence. Their strategic moves from stimulus package to regulatory reforms aims to ignite investor confidence and create a fertile ground for business to flourish. But is it too late to jump on this bandwagon? In this video, we'll dive deep into the factors driving this rally, assess the potential risks and explore whether China's stock market is indeed the next big investment opportunity. Chinese stocks are facing a lot of struggles during the last five years. For example, Alibaba, after hitting an all-time high of $300 in the last two years, they are trading at a range between $70 to hundred dollars. Another example is JD. In the last year they have been trading under thirty dollars after eating an all-time high of a hundred dollars in the beginning of 2021. This is these are huge drawdowns. Everything's changed this week and shiny stocks had their best week since 2008 after the great financial crisis. Alibaba is up 20%, Pinduoduo 34%, JD 37%, Tencent 13% and Baidu is up almost 21% just this week. This brings a really great performance for the last month. Just in this latest month Alibaba is up almost 35%, Pinduoduo 52%, JD 54%, Tencent 18% and Baidu almost 28%. This is great performance from a class of assets that has not been performed very well in the last few years. But what happened? This market uptick comes after the People's Bank of China, PBOC, this week announced a cut to the amount of cash that banks need to have on hand. The central bank outlined plans to further support the struggling property market, including extending measures for two years and cutting the interest rates on existing mortgages. PBOC Governor Pan Gongcheng announced at a press conference that China will be reducing the reserve requirement rating ratio of the, or the amount of cash banks must hold by 50 basis points. Even Chinese President Xi Jinping have talked about stimulus Thursday in a meeting of the Politburo. These measures have been declared in the hope of boosting the Chinese economy. For a long time, investors have been waiting for this stimulus. So, why now? This happened because the Fed dropped rates by 50 basis points two weeks ago. That was the trigger for Chinese regulators to start cut rates as well. If China had done the stimulus before, they would face the risk of having foreign exchange problems, excessive devaluation of the yuan renminbi in comparison to the dollar. And that is not good for a country that has an economy based on exports. They took a cautious approach and now it is expected to pay off. The Chinese economy is slowing down, so there is a need to ignite the economy and increase consumer confidence. This is almost a bazooka. Liquidity is improving and there are incentives to invest in China or in Chinese assets. This looks a lot like the COVID bazooka from the Fed during the COVID in 2020. And we all know what happened then to the stock market. But is China the next big investment opportunity? Bear in mind, this comes after 2-3 years of no returns excessive undervaluation on Chinese stocks, so some good news ignite a massive rally this week. Valuation wise, we are still a lot undervalued in my opinion and with the support from PBOC and Chinese government, I believe risk 
of investing in China can be reduced. So that means possibly a lower discount rate for asset, which means higher valuation for stocks. In terms of risk and challenge, there are a lot of risk in, the, in investing in China. Chinese economy is still in a slowdown. They, are, they still have a demographic problem, but GDP growing above 4%, that's not bad at all. So there are a lot of experts and super investors investing in China. For example, David Tepper, Michael Burry. These weeks, for example, David Tepper came into CNBC News saying that he's buying even more Chinese stocks. David is one of the best investors in the world and one super investor I particularly admire. Not because he's heavily invested in China, like I am, but because he's not afraid to invest in assets when everyone else is doing the opposite. For example, in 2008, 2009, when everyone was panicking after the great financial crisis, he came to the media saying to buy and that he is buying everything. And now he's doing the same and he's being rewarded for that. To sum up, is this the comeback for shiny stocks? Is China the next big investment opportunity? If you follow our channel and watch our videos, you already know this answer. We are very bullish on shiny stocks and on the Chinese economy overall. They are the leader on advancing manufacturing. They are leaders on EV, solar panels and batteries and even on tank. We believe they can compete with the United States in the future. So looking at undervaluation, uh, rates going down, uh, investor sentiment possibly recovering. This is a great recipe for great returns in the future. And adding that they have some really great and high quality business like Alibaba, Tencent and Pinduoduo, for example, there are a lot of big opportunities right there and that's why we remain very bullish on Chinese equities is because of that undervaluations high quality companies and even though there are some risks investing in China I do believe the risk reward situation in this case is very rewarding for the investors so I hope you like this video and if you liked it please like and subscribe see you next time